You're late. Don't just live life. Maxify it. The first one, the chase sequence. Would it been that kind of series, isn't it? Teams batting second, chasing are are winning winning the match irrespective of the scores on the board. You're on mute. it absolutely you're right uh, it will change with the t20s because of the timing so it will not be early morning start that you put the opposition in and you will win the game that's not going to happen for both teams so it will be refreshing to see but yes i mean that was the pattern that uh, we have seen right through the 50 over contest you started out saying whether it's a party or cricket there's a hangover you know for me cricket is a party why why does claire claire look so happy today because she partied yesterday so that's the whole deal you and i look a little dejected because we did not party i mean cricket did not allow us to party so the moment cricket is the garnish it is the party i mean the aroma of food the aroma of chocolate if an india in an indian team wins whether it is wine or champagne for you or chocolate for me as a tea totaler doesn't matter it's a party nonetheless so south africa party that's why claire cowan is so happy today putting on a couple of kilos to to you know and she deserves to i mean unlike us she is sort of a supremely fit athlete so she deserves her her share of the party because of the south african for one win trust a bengali to bring up sweets at some point of the conversation <laughs> claire the win the toss win the match was that actually uh, the theme of the series because on the outside it wasn't but it it really seemed so wasn't it Sorry, yeah, thank you. Um, I think it was generally the fact that it was such an early start. We saw the sort of just the pitch being a little bit more favourable to chasing and, and batting on it in the latter half of of the innings. So I think that had a big role to play, and um, in the decision to for most of the teams to look to bowl first. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I I went back to. and i gave it some thought to the pakistan series and it was really interesting because if you if you remember what south africa or what i should say what pakistan did in the odi series because sunil lees couldn't um, couldn't win a toss for anything i mean i wouldn't want to t- go to any casino with her i wouldn't be rolling any dice or playing any luck games with her because in that pakistan series i think she only won the very very last um toss and that was in the third t20 so pakistan always had the choice and pakistan funny enough always bold first and we had very many discussions about how we were disappointed with pakistan's want to bold first we said at times because they were struggling in the series you know really try and take south africa and hit them hard up front and actually win the toss and choose to bat just to sort of put a bit of pressure on them and 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 get south africa to think a little bit differently about it as uh, the south africa So we're really successful um, at setting the targets um, in that situation with Pakistan bowling. And when I was I was sort of reflecting back on it, and I was like, you know, at times in the fifth ODI, we said, oh, should South Africa not rather look to bat first just to try test it um, and 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 see how they would perform if they had to set the total rather than having to chase, which we knew they, you know, were really successful with. But you know, you look back at that ODI series, and they set targets. often and very, they did reasonably well not as well as i think they've batted in the and the indian series but definitely they batted well up front so it's quite interesting to have a look at that because i think yeah, they were trying to test themselves slightly and look obviously the lucknow pitch helped to chase first i mean to chase at the end of the at the latter half of the innings so so that was in their favor but it was good to reflect back on it and go oh we were relatively successful setting a total and now tables have turned and we've and the conditions have suited us and we've chased really well uh, but it also goes back to a mindset making sure that just because the conditions are good you can still execute your skills and you could can still be strong mentally to chase big targets and we've seen south africa two targets over 250 that they were successful at chasing down 